Hey everybody, it's me Chris. I'm back over here in the kitchen and today I'm going to show you how to make fresh breadcrumbs. Now, I stopped by in the store-bought ones a couple of years ago. It's just so easy to do. Um, it, it makes sense for me anyway to do it at home. It's pretty easy. So look what I got here. This is just some old bread. I got some old rolls, some old pieces of bread. Whatever I don't use, I just throw it in the freezer and then when I'm ready to make breadcrumbs, I just let it defrost. So once my bread's defrosted, I got my oven preheated to 300 degrees. And I'm just going to take all these leftover pieces and just, I'm just going to start to break them up and put them on my sheet pan. So these are some of the ends of the white bread loaf. I got a leftover roll here. It doesn't really matter again what you use. I'm just going to break them up and spread them out. All right, so this looks pretty good. And what you want to do is just make sure that these are in a nice even layer so that they can get properly dried out and, and cook evenly. And now these are gonna go in the oven. Again, it's 300 degrees until they're really dried out and, and just slightly golden brown. And then stir them about every 15 minutes, make sure that they're cooking evenly. And it should take you about an hour. Okay, so my bread pieces are done. I let them cool. And you can just hear how dry they are. Okay, I don't want them to get too brown, so just keep an eye on them. But these are really nice and dry. And if you don't have a food processor, you could just use a meat mallet and put them in a bag like this and just make your breadcrumbs that way. You could even use a can. I mean, you can use whatever you want, but you don't need to have a food processor. It just makes it a lot easier. So that's what I have here. And I'll do them in batches. And I'm just going to pulse it up until I get nice fine bread. All right, this looks good. And this is what you get at the end. Some nice fine breadcrumbs. So that's it. Uh, and then once you get your uh, breadcrumbs all ground up, um, you can put them in these soup containers or a Ziploc bag and put it in a freezer. And then if you want to season these breadcrumbs, you don't have to, you can leave them plain, but if you want to season them, I just put down here just a, a good guide for you on uh, how I like to season my breadcrumbs. So for each, for every two cups of the fresh breadcrumbs, it's a half a cup grated cheese, a tablespoon Italian seasoning, two teaspoons each of kosher salt, granulated or garlic powder, uh, granulated onion or onion powder, and one teaspoon of black pepper. Um, so when you, when you add the cheese though, you don't wanna leave that sitting out at room temperature. Take it, mix it up, put it in the freezer, and it'll last you a long time, probably at least six months. And you can play with the seasonings and, and really make it your own. If you want to add more cheese, if you want to add more salt, if you want to add some crushed red pepper and make it spicy, I mean, it's really simple to do. So, um, you know, again, it's, 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 a lot, it's a lot healthier and better for you than buying the store-bought because you really don't know what's in it. Um, and it's, a, it's just a great way to use up the old bread so you don't throw out all those end pieces and all those leftovers. So... I hope you like it. I hope you try it. I hope you like my video. Uh, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.